Honda's modern motorbikes may be great, but we're looking at their entire history, here for the best motorcycles the company ever made ranked. Hello, and welcome in today's video, if you are new to this channel. Press the subscribe button below and select the bell icon to all, so you won't miss our future video. Thank you, let's get started. Honda is known for its diversity in the motor industry. They offer a wide variety of models, designs, and quality. Honda is prized for its motorcycles, more specifically Honda Power Sports. It's the name for their grand collection of anything that is not a car or other forms of machinery. The two-wheeled vehicles are from all time periods in Honda history because the newest ones are not necessarily the best. To hold true to Honda's history, many of these are award-winning and even landmarks in the bike industry. Here are the 10 best Honda bikes available and their respective prices. We're starting off with an oldie but goodie model. The Honda NR750 was made over 27 years ago and is still considered one of the most revolutionary bikes ever made by Honda. The expensive model was valued at $60,000 each individual bike. An outrageous price for anyone. Only around 300 were made due to the steep price. Although they revolutionized the industry, having half as many cylinders as a V8 motorcycle should have, and the added valves per cylinder presented. Creators with a challenge that was worth the while. Since they were so innovative, that pushed the price. It may have been for lack of a better word, inconvenient, but they did revolutionize all motorcycle companies. This one had to be included amongst the best, that is because it was made to be better than others. The design of this motorcycle was practical and powerful. It was the world's fastest production motorcycle of 1997 with a top speed of 178.5 miles per hour. Although it later lost in 1999 to the Suzuki Hayabusa. This motorcycle proved to be one of the most flexible, so it fits in the generation. It was a simple way to get to any location while riding comfortably. It could handle both modern life and track life. It came with a comfortable build for long distance rides. This bike originally retailed between two to six thousand dollars. A lightweight model of the Honda company, the Rebel is one of the more modern productions of the company. This is a reimagined Honda series, coming in two models, the 300 cubic centimeters and 500 cubic centimeters, which has been praised for its lightweight features and street bike aspects. The bike is regarded as one of the better starter bikes around while keeping aspects that generational riders would also enjoy. The bike comes out like some of the larger models, that is, manageable in urban areas. Retailing at around $6,000 it is an affordable bike for many who have ridden for years or those just starting out. More commonly known as the Fireblade, this is a relatively old bike, since production of the model went from 1992 to 2003. It came as a surprise that Honda would be releasing a bike of this caliber. The bike was meant to be one of three models that Honda would be releasing, but the immortal Tadao Baba prioritized this model overall. It was meant as a practical bike that would serve only for roads, not for tracks. The large engine meant that racing would not be an option for this model. The motorcycle was essentially a 1,000 cubic centimeters bike, with the handling of a 600 cubic centimeters. This relatively new model of the bike was launched in 2000, and more recently the latest coming out in 2020. The CRF series features a large range of improvements, all worth the price increment. The CRF 450 Yard came out inspired by dirt bike models, which were considered some of the best ones around. With a four-stroke engine, it has received more updates than anyone could have ever thought about for such a small bike. The multitude of models will always have riders claiming each of their superiority. Considered the Honda Power Sports best-selling bike, it retails for around $9,000. Who would have thought that this scooter model would have made it? Absolutely no one. When the Honda Cub was released, it was expected to be confined in history after a few months. But people were proven wrong after this popular vehicle was purchased by well over 50 million people, 
being one of the cheapest, simple, and convenient vehicles. The semi-automatic scooters are well on their way to revolutionize the world. They are a reliable model, primarily in Europe and Asia where they make up most of the vehicles commonly bought. They are a modern aspect of the world that can't be ignored. Neither can their price tag, retailing at $3,599. This 2016 model RC213 VS bike should be nothing to be too excited about. With its astronomical price of $184,000, it's unlikely many will buy it. The exotic model is one of the most expensive to have ever hit markets. Yet, it doesn't come out as the best bike ever made. It is just one of the bikes that give riders a lot of edge over their friends. Honda encourages this bike to be used for races and not average urban riding. The bike can be turned into one of the most powerful around but many have yet to see that in action. It is an incredibly rare bike that consumers will be lucky to ever see out on the track or in the streets. To many, this is a middle ground between a motorcycle and a car. The design does not hold any resemblance to other Honda bikes. That is what makes this big bike one of the best in the market. The large bike is considered an unsurpassed member of the big tourer segment. It doesn't come as a surprise that it is one of the most surprising feats of engineering. With its 1,800 cubic centimeters six-cylinder engine, it can take riders anywhere in comfort. Maybe not style-wise, though. The retail value for the latest 2019 version is $23,000. Maybe more closely resembling a car, but it is still part of the power sports family of Honda. Who wouldn't want a motorcycle that was good for anything and everything? That was the Honda Hurricane, produced from 1987 to 1990, the only one of its generation to fulfill all aspects any rider would ever want. No matter the year in which it was manufactured, it still produced some of the best bikes ever. It got good mileage, reliability, and offered simple maneuvering. Although of all those aspects were covered for common riders, but it also proved to be reliable on the track, winning multiple awards and titles. This machine was the best of its time, and could still be today. Honda has proven time and time again that it can surpass its best designs. That is undoubtedly a fact, having some of the most reliable and versatile bikes in the market. The CRF1000L Africa twin model proves itself to be the best power sport vehicle among all others. This model is powered by a 998 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled four-stroke parallel twin engine and has the specs that others wish to have. With lengthy travel suspensions, adjustable riding, and a choice of transmission, it is no wonder it is the best bike ever made. The modern aspect of the bike doesn't mean it is the most pricey either, retailing for only $13,599.